Hello. Shoot. When you hop on, let me know that you're here so I can see who hops on. I'm putting the primer on first. Um, I need to move my mirror a little bit. Hello. Come get ready with me. Not sure what I'm going to do today. Got primer on. I use the VFX Pro primer. And that there is um, a symbol for um, photo filter technology. So you won't have any harsh flash on your pictures. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Just a little bit. I wanted to share this. I don't know if I can or not. Hello, I see you. <laughs> um, see if I can share. I don't know if I can or not. <laughs> oh, I know I can on my computer. Get my computer going here. Because I don't want to do it on my phone and end up losing everybody. Got my computer over here to the side so I can see what I'm doing. Moved it out of my way. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna share it into my group or on my page so people can see. Share. And it's working really slow. Hello, when you hop on. Um, in a group there Facebook's changed things so it's hard to now my timeline all right got it shared Hello, my name is Karen Willis. If you're joining me and don't know who I am, glad you're here. When you hop on, say hello so I can see who all joins. All right, I took a little bit of the VFX Pro Finish Foundation. It's also got the photo technology. Oh, lost my sponge. And I always put it on the back of my hand. I got a mirror here to the side so I can see what I'm doing, actually. I already put my primer on. I love the smell of this stuff. It smells so good, fresh. Not any, not any perfume smell, which I can't stand because uh, stuff gives me a headache when it's real strong. Hey you, how you doing Terry? You guys keeping busy?
Always busy here. Get your hair out of my way. I just decided to hop on spur of the moment. No notice whatsoever. <laughs> I need to turn my computer down because it's going next to me and I can hear it beeping. It drives me nuts. All right. This stuff smells so good. I put it on my eyelids too just to tone it down because my eyelids are red. Thank you, Terry. Miss you guys. Andy's still working, so keep them busy. Got grandkids a lot. Had both of them over yesterday, different times, but they all both came over to see me yesterday. Mika was here because she wanted to go on a Jeep ride. She loves riding in. They got a new Jeep, and she loves riding in her Jeep. All right. I got that on. Forgot to bring my towel to wipe it off on my hands because I still have it some <laughs> have some of it on my hand. So I'm going to take I do my brows next usually if I remember. So I got two different brow pencils here. I can wear both of these. So I'm going to take the darkest one and go on the end here because that's where you want your darkest on the uh, on the tail of your eyebrow and I want it to fade uh, fade a little bit then I'm going to take the blonde and do on the front See, it just blends together. See how it just frames your face? Just doing your eyebrows frames your face so well. Take a spoolie. There you got them both blended together. I have the back end off. There. See, it just frames your face so well when you just do your eyebrows. Do the same thing on this side. You may hear the lawnmower. Andy's out mowing. Hear the heavy dew. Or the heavy dew's finally off, so he's able to get the mom grass cut. Do you have uh, uh, heavy frost where you were at, Terry? Sure you did. Take the spoolie. See your citizen's discount. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to take, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm just kind of playing. I felt like putting some makeup on today. We're not doing anything. I'm going to take my 3-in-1 palette. I'm going to take the contour and see if take the right brush, dip it in the contour, tap it off. Do my cheek underneath your cheekbones, and I always start in the back. I'm doing it a little darker so you could see. Do a little blending there, and I'm going to take my. I need this brush and blend it. So it's not harsh. And that just gives you a little shadow effects. I mean, see, it looks thinner on this side, this side than it does this side. Mike's back at the lake. 
Is he fishing? I know Dustin's been fishing a couple times this past week. Chandler caught a fish a couple weeks ago, and that was the biggest... He caught the biggest fish out of all of them. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing on the contour. On this side, start in the back so you don't have a harsh line. Right underneath your cheekbones. And you can, where you can tell your cheekbone is, is you can smile. And you feel it right here. Or you could, you know, you don't have... You could just feel it and go right in here in the hollow of your cheek. I see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this brush, blend it. I want to take a little bit and go up a little bit because uh, the older you get, the gravity, you know, takes effect and it falls. And we want it to go up, help it any way we can. So I'm going to blend that. Then I'm going to take bronzer, which this is my favorite. This is so huge, and I just love this bronzer. And get the right side open. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush, tap in, tap off, because you always have a bunch of extra, and start in the back. And just add a little more color to the face, because when you put your foundation on, you take all the color out of your face. All the contours he already did? Oh gosh. That's not good. So add a little bronzer. And I take a little bronzer up here on my forehead because, well, you know, my forehead is huge. And I don't want it to look that big. Say hello when you hop on so I can see when you're here. If you're watching the replay, comment hashtag replay. There. See, it adds just a little bit of dimension there. And then I'm going to take the, uh, it's a small flat brush, and do a little bit on my nose, but not much. Right in here. That just makes your nose look thinner. And if you do a little bit across the top of your nose, I'll show a side here, like that, it makes you look like you have a little button nose. I usually don't do that though, but I did for today. And then I just take my finger and kind of go down the sides a little bit. <laughs> yeah, gravity does push everything down. <laughs> I'm trying to push it all back up. Alright, that was the bronzer. So then I'm going to go into... Did I... couldn't remember if I got a blush. I didn't get my blush out. I'm going to use a different blush today, I think. And this one is, oh shoot, drop the glasses. Uh, number six on the blush. And it's a real pale color blush. I'm going to use this all over my eyelid. I need a big fluffy brush. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush like that. Dip into the eye, or the, this is actually a blush. I'll dip it in go all over kind of like a, a transition color same on this side everybody get the gardens covered last night Dustin come over and got buckets to cover his. My hair in the way. Same thing on this side. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. I'm just kind of playing. Don't know. So then I'm going to take... I'm going to go back into the bronzer. This stuff smells the same as a foundation. Fresh. Smells really good. 
and kind of deepen up this just a little bit, add a little bit more color. No, didn't help at all. I know Dustin, uh, I don't know if he came over in his car or not last night, if it was a truck or car, and uh, lots of buckets to cover up his, because he's got quite a, a big garden. Kind of going in the uh, the crease of your eye. And I go a little bit above the crease because I have a hooded eye. What is a hooded eye, if you want to know? Hooded eye is when you look at the camera and you can barely see any eyelid. And that's a hooded eye. Alright, I'm going to go... I think I'm going to use playing with this again. It's called Cream Pop. Or, or not Cream Pop, it's a cream shadow. And it's called, I think, Orange Pop, if I remember right. Gotta have my glasses. Whew. Can't see upside down. Yes, Orange Pop number three. Orange color. I'm going to take a brush. Let me get a flat brush and get it into that shadow. And I'm going to go in the front of my eye. This is so smooth. Oh, gosh, this is pretty. First, I wasn't too sure about the orange, but it kind of reminds me of copper, and I love the color copper. It's pretty. Same thing on this eye. Just in the front here. Doesn't take much. This will last me a long time, this little container. Smooth it off to the back a little bit. Kind of feather it. Where did it go? I love you. Love you too, Terry. All right, so then I'm going to take, this is more of a pink. Let's take, I'm going to use a different palette that I have here. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I haven't hardly used this at all. And um, the palette that I wanted to use with this color, uh, it's not here yet. But it's on its way. So I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush, actually not that one, I'm going to take an angled, there you go, smaller fluff, fluffy brush, and I'm going to dip it into a brown, let's use this really dark brown right here, let's use that one. And just deepen up the corner here. Do a number seven, a backwards number seven. Just give a little bit uh, more depth to the eye. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, clean one. And just blend a little bit there. Don't want any harsh lines. I will try Terry. Or I could tag you in it if I if I remember you. I'm either in a hurry or I forget what I'm going to do or uh, always in a hurry. But I will try to remember Terry to tag you in it, and that way you can see when I'm online. So blend that out a little bit so you don't have any harsh lines. Do the same thing to the other side. Deepen up the corner there. 
do a backwards number seven. This color is really pretty with the uh, orange pop. The palette that I have coming is, I'm so excited for it. It's browns, and that's my favorite color to wear on my eyes, is browns. I wear that a lot. You're welcome, Terry. Let's blend that out so I have no harsh lines. So I'm going to take a sm even smaller brush into that brown and just really concentrate on the corner here. Same thing on this side. Then I'm going to dip in the brown again. Tap off, and we'll do the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to go into that orange pop. And I'm going to take a small flat brush again dip it into it and tap off some of the extra and just put it on the inner corner same thing on this side you know what I forgot to do? the concealer boy I am off today Whew. bit of this on it's our um, kind of like our chapstick this is really nice it's thicker than chapstick and if you use chapstick you know that chapstick is uh, thin and it doesn't stay on good this does and I use it all the time because I always use chapstick all the time all right I'm gonna try to do concealer since I've already put everything on let's see how well I could do just a little bit today. Not going anywhere today. Not doing anything, really. And I'm going to take... Well, I had my sponge out here I was going to use. I took off with it. I'll take a brush. And I took off with the sponge to go wet it. And I got sidetracked. Who knows what I was doing. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of my fingers and blend that smooth underneath the eye there. I do that a lot. I go to do something and forget what I'm doing all the time. Or I go to uh, write something down for, that I need from the grocery store when I get to the paper or find the paper. Uh, or my phone. I use my phone. I can't remember what I was going to write. I do that all the time too. <laughs> <laughs> all right that blush that we used on my eyes hello i'm going to use i use this on my eyes i'm going to use this on my cheek put a little bit on I usually go about right here. You don't want to do with your bronzer though. You don't want to go that far. Oh, about dropped it too. Okay. So then I'm going to take... Hey girl, how you doing? I need to find... What did I use the other day? small flat brush and I'm going to use our gel liner to put eyeliner on. If I could do this straight. Oh, 
Hopping on, you may hear the lawnmower. My husband's out mowing the yard. I'm doing good, thank you. I decided just to play with my makeup today, not do, going anywhere, not doing anything. Just decided to hop on and put it on. I put my eyeliner a little thicker on the back side here. Oops, about got in my eye. Because, for one, I can't do a wing liner for the life of me. I have tried so many times and I cannot do it. It's pretty on other people. And with hooded eyes, that's why I am having have so much trouble with it. So I just put it a little thicker on the back side. Doesn't help when your eye wiggles all the time. Got a little bit on the end there. All right. That's all I'm doing because I'm not really going anywhere today. Not doing anything. Grandkids may show up. So then I'm going to take that brown that I got into earlier in this Jaclyn Hill palette that I have. And, um, where'd the pencil? Oh, there it is. Flew all the way over there. I want to just do, deepen a little bit over here. Because we put a little extra on the bottom or on the corner. <laughs> Wait till I go to do my mascara. I have it all over. I cannot the life of me. <laughs> I'm going to take the same palette and I'm going to dip into the lighter. There's a light shimmer shade right in here. And just pop it in the corner of my eye. I guess I should have used what the Pharmacy 3-in-1 palette because I had it out. Ended up not really using it that much. And that just, that wakes me up. I need woke up today because <laughs> I'm just really tired today. And I even slept good. I don't understand why I'm so tired. All right. I'm going to use the Zen Mascara. I love this stuff. It helps me not get it all over my eyes. <laughs> and it is so affordable. I think it's $8.90. And here's a tip. There you can see it. it has long ends and then it has the short bristle. Thank you, Suzanne. And uh, the short bristle is amazing for the short or the eye bottom eyelashes. I gotta tilt my mirror because I can't do it from looking in my phone. I always do start with the top lashes and I go to both eyes on the top lashes let them dry I know the Zen mascara is amazing I boy I blinked there um, I was using um, extreme curl until I got this now I'm stuck on this using this all the time All right, if you're like me and get that mascara all over the place, I let it dry, and when it dries, I just take a Q-tip and it flakes right off, or even my, just my fingernail. Let the dry just a little bit. Go back to the, always put two coats on, back to the top. Fill it here. I have a hair that got mascara. <laughs> I 
I'm so excited I get my hair done Tuesday. Oh, I am so ready because I had an appointment set. Uh, I think it was, oh, gee, she looked up. March 24th. And um, that was the day they closed down and everything. So then I couldn't go. So I go Tuesday, but I have to wear a mask. And they take your temperature when you walk in. All that good stuff. I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I go to my bottoms. It does. It does. I'll have a, I'll do a, a picture of a close-up. I don't know if I can see close-up or not. But um, I'm going to take the highlighter in the 3-in-1 palette. Because I haven't done this yet. See, there's the bronzer, the blush, and a highlighter. I'm going to take the highlighter and I'm going to take a fluffy brush, go down the center of my nose. Got to pull my mirror down so I can see what I'm doing. Down the center of my nose. A little bit on the end so you have a that nose. Take a little on the keep a bow. Make you look like you have a pouty lid. I always take a little bit above my eyebrows to um, make them look like they're raised a little bit more. A little bit in the center of the chin. Whew. A little bit. <laughs> I made me a little bit too much. <laughs> it's going to be shining. So then I, um, I'm all over the place today. All over the place. Like I said, I had no plan whatsoever what I was doing. I was just getting on. So then I'm going to take my Zen Mascara. I know. I cannot wait to get to the salon. <sighs> so excited when she messaged me and says, When can you come? I said, I'm free any day for this. <laughs> any day. I'm free any day for that. All right. Zen Mascara on the bottom lashes. You can really get close to the your lash line with this uh, with these bristles. I'm trying not to blink because that one side's a little thick. And if anybody ever watches my videos, you know I get mascara all over the place on me. I could do it any time except for when it comes to mess on live videos. And then I'm a mess. And I'm actually, see, I blinked. I'm going to take my finger and get that. Just wipe off just a little bit. I forgot to bring my towel in. Alright. Then I'm going to take. I think I'm, oh well, no, we need to do lip. Almost forgot. I have two lip liners here. Let's see, I'm gonna use two two six. It's a color, so pretty. Outline your lip. And a good thing about the lip liners is you can over line so you make you can do a thicker lick it lick thicker lip if you have thin lips this also helps um from your lipstick bleeding out if you have uh, fine lines Oh, I have a light bulb that's messing with my eyes today. It flickers on and off. I've changed it. Put a new bulb in. It flickers on and off still. I think we need to get new light there. but um, It's fairly deep new because I don't know what the deal is. All right, and then I'm going to use my most favorite lipstick of all, our matte lipstick. 
Matte Liquid Lipstick. This stuff stays all day. It's Color Brave. It's my favorite color. And I wear these colors a lot. And this, I mean, you can, you don't have to put lip gloss on or anything. You take extra off your tip because you don't need that much. Lawnmower's coming, so it may get a little loud. I love this color. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite lipstick. Let it dry, and then it'll stay. I said this was called Brave. It's 205. Our liquid matte. I love this stuff. Yes. Love the matte lippy. I haven't used anything else really. So now I'm going to take our uh, time locker spray. This just locks your makeup on. Keeps it put. I always shake up the bottle. couple spreads let it dry a little bit and while all you're done ready to go to go probably do laundry <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do go do laundry <laughs> and dishes <laughs> hey but at least I have makeup on to make me look good <laughs> all right recap I use the VFX Pro foundation love this stuff I use the VFX Pro uh, primer first, then the foundation. Then I used uh, the 3-in-1 palette. Bring it open. 3-in-1 palette. I used all three, sh all three shades. Then I used our bronzer. Look how big that thing is. Oh. This is a bronzer. Then I used this blush in uh, for an eyeshadow and blush then I used two eyebrow pencils I used the blonde and wherever the uh, brown went use the brown use both of them because I have them both and why not and then what oh I used the orange cup pop look at that color oh I love that color orange pop cream eyeshadow then I used the Jaclyn Hill palette that I have because my, um, I have a palette, brown palette coming, but it hasn't got here yet. So I thought, well, I'll just use this. I, I bought it a year ago and never used it. And then, oh, I used a uh, concealer in light ivory and then my lip in brave in gel, black gel eyeliner. All right. That was it. So I'm ready to go do dishes and laundry. <laughs> Thank you for watching.